Hi guys, welcome to today's Blueberry Markets video update with me, John Kibler, Head Currency Analyst. In this video, we're just going to go over the open forex position. So I had a couple of questions, especially about uh, the pound. So I just wanted to basically cover this, uh, what we see for the market and what we're expecting to sort of happen this week. Now, strength and weakness did show that pound was losing some ground last week. But if we actually take a look at the bigger picture, look at the daily chart and just have a look at what's actually happening. The market was in a downtrend. It rallied, formed a new high. OK, so when price came back and retested this structure here, we wanted to get back involved with the market because technically we're now or we could see a higher low being formed from this low down here. So we're anticipating that move there um, and we looked to buy this candlestick here which is now looking like we are starting to see that move to the upside we did see it originally um, but then price came back on us then we had this little indecision candle and now markets moving in our favor which is absolutely great and what we were looking for the market to do unfortunately for us we got stopped on pound swiss um, which would have been back near break even just had a wild friday the market came down, took us out of the of the low there and has continued to the upside. That's just unfortunate for us. But our pound Aussie is also still uh, in and he's now pushing back to the upside. So really pound still looking strong to me. Um, looking at the four hour time frame, we've now got a bit of a confirmation of that because price has now uh, broken into new highs on the four hour time frame, which is all good. Um, so I'm hoping we get a bit of a trend rally up like this so we may get another pull back down into our entry before seeing another continuation move but everything's looking quite good here to continue to buy the pound up into that sort of 127.50 area where we're looking to target so looking at pound aussie as well we can see that prices come all the way back down double bottomed broken forming a new high so what we can expect again is if we wanted to see buyers come back in a retest of that high before seeing further continuation moves but pound Aussie is looking pretty good for that rally as well it's just been a little bit it was just taking a little bit longer than we anticipated but it looks to me like it's starting to play out pound yen was a chart to watch as well really good uptrend and this is why i always say you want to be focusing on those uptrends the market came back and retested a key area of structure and it's starting to rally again to the upside so once again nice little indecision candles i like the fact that the price was getting stuck around here at the previous highs it was just really um indecisive of what it wanted to do down in here going to that four hour time frame look what's happened now price it wasn't making or was failing to make any clear lower lows it's now broken to the upside forming higher highs so i'm expecting a pullback continuation move just through here on pound yen so what we'd be looking for in particular on this market if you wanted to look at an intraday position would be a pullback into this zone and to get long on the likes of a 15 minute change in cycle so if price does start trending back down i'd like to see a change in cycle pattern in here for us to look to buy the market once again but pound yen looking pretty good as well so pound in general looking very strong the other open position we have is cad yen this is just up and down like a yo-yo in that range of market and this is a great example of why trading ranges can be very difficult um, because price may not want to return back to the lows um, but may sit around the highs instead so this is a great example of why trading ranges can can be very difficult whereas when we trade in the range we're getting those nice uh, the trend sorry we're starting to get those nice impulses to the upside uh, we may have been stopped out on one but they've still got two running um towards our targets at the moment which is all good um but yeah essentially this is why trading ranges can be very difficult because they're very unpredictable um and we can see here on this four hour time frame now no clear trend direction for me uh, obviously i'd love to see this drop down to the downside but we may end up having to just cut this one eventually because um, we've been in it for a good while now so what i do want to see is if the market does start to make lower lows then we could look to maybe uh, 
trade the trend within the range because at the moment we have this big downside a big rally but we're failing to make higher highs so maybe we'll get another sort of consolidation breakout another consolidation breakout you know that's what i'm expecting maybe here to form on cad yen but cad's week yen's week range in market very difficult to conditions to trade in okay so keep an eye on uh, these open positions pound to me is looking very good for strong op uh, bullish opportunities uh, really like pound yen in particular as we're starting to break this structure we could even head up towards these previous weekly swing points around about 138.80 so keep your eye on those hope you enjoyed this quick video update if you did give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the youtube channel if you want to see some more daily trading content. Thanks for watching. Speak to you soon.